Hey, my beautiful lost souls. Welcome back to another video. I know, I know. I've been going for a little bit. I hope y'all forgive me. I look cute, right? Don't I look cute? Yeah, y'all ain't got no choice but to forgive me. But anyways, I know I've been going. I'm so sorry, you guys. But like, I don't know. Your girl was going through a little something. And like, sometimes I get like creator's block where I just don't know what video to film. So... Hopefully you guys forgive me, but I'm back. And today we are doing a tarot reading, but it's not a celebrity tarot reading. We are doing conspiracy theories. Because if y'all don't know, I'm a little bit of a, a, a conspiracy theorist. Um, I wasn't always. I used to make fun of conspiracy theorists. I used to be one of those people. Until I really opened my eyes, I really tapped into my, you know, third eye chakra. And I saw a lot of shit. I realized a lot of things. And, um, yeah, so basically... Today, we are going to be doing Are Mermaids Real? Yes, I want to see if mermaids are real because ever since I was young, I was always fascinated with the idea of mermaids, as I'm sure a lot of young women were. Um, I literally used to always pretend to be a mermaid, y'all. I am a fish. I love the water. I literally love the sea. So this is like, you know, an interesting topic for me, but are mermaids real? We're going to we're gonna see if I could tap into some, you know what I mean, mermaid energy. And yeah, so let's shuffle some cards. All right, so are mermaids real? Long story short, yes, they are real. Um, with the Empress card here, this lets me know they're very magical. They're very magical beings. Um, I feel like they're more advanced than humans. I'm pretty sure a lot of other things are more advanced than humans. Um, a lot of them, okay, so since I said mermaids, I guess I should have said mermaids and mermen. But this speaks about feminine energy, a lot of feminine energy. So I guess, I guess female mermaids are truly real. Um, they possess divine beauty. They are very beautiful. So they're not like sirens. Sirens are ugly. So if y'all ever want me to tell like stories about mermaids and stuff like that, because if y'all don't know, your girl's Caribbean. Yes, I'm Haitian. And I've been heard many stories. Like my grandmother always tells me a story about how she saw a mermaid back at, back at home in Haiti. And she was scared for her fucking life. But this lets me know they are very beauty. It's almost like you become entranced with their beauty. They have the ability to entrance people with their beauty. Um, think of Ariel, right? So the movie Ariel, it wasn't completely an inaccurate depiction of mermaids. Um, they have the power to put you in a trance. That's what makes me think of like divine feminine, very beautiful creatures. Um, but they are very, um, I don't know. So this lets me know that mermaids and humans do have history. For whatever reason, they do choose to keep themselves separate and isolated from the human population. I'm not really sure why, but they have chosen to separate themselves from humankind. I don't know what happened in the past. Um, this low-key gives me the vibe that maybe mermaid people have a history with being deceived by humans. And they decided, you know what, fuck that shit. We're not about to play with y'all, so <laughs> let's go back down under the sea. Um... The magician is here, very powerful, very magical. I mean, I've heard numerous stories about mermaids and I can definitely say they have, they have the ability to get you whatever you want. They are very magical, very powerful people. And I think that's another reason why they're hidden as well to protect themselves. Um, but they do exist and we are on the same realm, right? The magician lets me know we are on the same realm. The moon card, they choose to keep themselves hidden. They, this is their choice. They choose to be hidden, right? The moon is all about secrecy, which you cannot see. And so they do choose to keep themselves hidden. I get the vibe they don't really like human beings. <laughs> like like most other entities, they don't really like human beings. Um, They haven't had good, uh, good experiences. Um, This gives me like, you fucked up in the past. I'm not going to let that shit happen again kind of energy. Look, I don't know what our ancestors did, but whatever the case may be, they don't fuck with us no more like that. Um, they're very vengeful spirits. If y'all don't know about mermaids or like people, mer people, people in the ocean, fish people, they are very vengeful, very petty. So I wouldn't be surprised if something happened and they were like, you know what, fuck that. <laughs> but, um, the magician lets me know they do choose to reveal themselves to certain people. It depends. Um, but yeah, they don't really like humans. Interesting. Next, the judgment card is here as well. Hold on, let me see something. Um, when I think of the judgment card, first of all, they okay, so that's what I said. Like, Ariel wasn't a complete and accurate depiction of mermaids. Um, some mermaids possess like divine power through their voice, they can put you in a trance through their voice. 
Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. Like, I think they clashed with humans in the past and they were like, you know what, we're done. We're not going to work with these people anymore. They don't really like us like that. Oh, well. Anywho, the Two of Cups is here. Um, I do believe there are some people on this earth or there are some mermaids on this realm that do. Okay, so they communicate with who they want to communicate. They do have a relationship with humans. It's not like they view all humans as completely bad, but it's like majority of humans, they don't really fuck with them. And so if you are contacted by a mermaid, um, just know you're really special. They do have relationship with humans, some humans. It's a select few of humans that they actually care about. The Knight of Cups, a lot of water. There's a lot of water in these cards. So yeah, these magical beings do exist. So let me share with y'all, y'all. I literally cannot make this up. So I just recently shuffled. I was like, why don't mermaids like humans? Because something told me to ask that. So first when I was shuffling the first time when I was asking, are mermaids real? I kept hearing the word hidden, hidden, like we're hidden, we're hiding. And then this time I shuffled, fuck, I just forgot what I heard. Uh, Something like betrayal, I don't trust you. So, anywho, I literally can't make this up, you guys. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups came out. Oh my gosh. I definitely feel like there are some mermaids. So you see how humans have like presidents and queens and kings and government. Mermaids kind of have something like that. They have like a head honcho. Like, you know what I mean? Have y'all heard of Poseidon or the Ariel fucking movie where Ariel's father was, you know, the, the king, they do have hierarchy like that. Um, and for whatever reason, I feel like it's like the king or the queen or whatever, the higher up in the mer people, mermaid kingdom, they had clashed with humans. And because they had the, the higher ups that clashed with humans, it kind of affected all the little people. There is other mermaids that, you know, not all mermaids are the same. Like, not all people are the same. There are some mermaids who generally don't like humans. They generally don't care for us. And then there's some mermaids who would give humans a chance. Um, But yeah, very tumultuous relationship. You know, not really super happy. This lets me know with all this water, and as you can see, the water is very wavy in both cards, meaning it's a lot of motion in the water. The past relationship with humans and mermaids was very complicated, very tumultuous. And so, yeah. The Five of Swords is here, though, which I feel like is the main reason for all of this. And look, there's still water in the background. Um, Yeah, I think humans may have portrayed, betrayed uh, mermaids on numerous accounts, and maybe they just gave up. <laughs> but it's not in a sense like they were defeated by humans or anything, because they are very smart. They're very complex. They're very um advanced. But it just gives they don't trust humans. Like, Oh, you humans are always selfish. You only care about yourself, you know? I think they see through a lot of humans. Uh, yeah, the Ten of Cups came out when I asked why don't they like humans. I'm not really sure, like, uh, I don't know what it's giving. And then the Two of Swords, as you can see, a lot of water in the background, lots of water. So, I don't know. I I'm not sure, like, uh, a lot of cups, a lot of cups energy yeah so they beefed in the past anyways um mermaids are real they don't really like humans some don't really like humans they're very powerful they possess beautiful um even if they don't look what we may call as beautiful i feel like they still have the power to put you in a trance you know what i mean like yeah um i kind of think they pity us like they see us as beneath them to a certain extent so yeah a little bit cocky kind of energy they are definitely around and they definitely see a lot of what's going on in the world it's just they don't reveal themselves they've they, they've now chosen to be in hiding and not really reveal themselves they still do reveal themselves to certain people but not everybody you understand so yeah if you ever met a mermaid before congrats to you you're very special and they must really like you but anywho um let me know do y'all want me to start telling stories like because girl all my Haitian family members have at least one spiritual paranormal story where, like, my mom, she saw a ghost in her house. My aunt, um, one of my aunts was brutally murdered. Um, my grandmother was murdered by way of voodoo. Yes, um, and my other grandmother, she saw a mermaid. 
So let me know. Do y'all want me to start telling stories like that? I am a really good storyteller. I promise. I promise you. It's just the whole boyfriend shit in on my cousin story. That happened years ago. So, bitch, I could barely remember what happened. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Mermaids are real. Um, And I'm a fish. Anywho, see y'all in the next one. Mwah. Girl, why the fuck is this not? Mwah.